Well, welcome in, Scouters Mountain students and staff members and all our community members watching this on the internet. It is Monday morning once again, and believe it or not, kids, it's our second to last Monday morning of the whole school year. Welcome into Monday morning, June 6th. 2022. It's still hard for me to believe that it has a June right there in the day of the week. June 6, 2022. It is our last full week of elementary school this week. Full week. Remember, we still have school next week, but we only go through Thursday. So our last full week. Oh, it should be an exciting week ahead. In fact, it's an exciting nine days ahead. That's how many days we have left. Counting today, five days this week, four days next week. That's nine days left in the school year. Unbelievable. I can still remember when we were out front at the beginning of the school year, just waiting to start this school year, and we're just about done. So what do we need to know this week, Mr. Longwell? Lots of different things. As I said before, it's our last full week of June. So we go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, this week, all five days. And then next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, just four days next week. Well, Friday is a day for teachers to work on your report cards and other last minute details of the school year. The Happy Valley Library will be visiting your classrooms for just a few minutes this week about their summer reading program. We want all of you to continue reading throughout the summer. We don't put all the books down just because it's summertime. We need you to practice your reading so you're ready for your next grade. Happy Valley Library will be here for a few minutes in each classroom later this week to talk about the different things they have going on as far as summer reading goes and how to earn surprises from the library. So what happens next week? This is our last full week. It's next week when we have lots of activities. So not this coming week. Let's take a look at next week. But first, make sure that you know that this Wednesday, okay, that's important. This coming Wednesday, so two days from now, today's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Wednesday the 8th is your last day to turn in any lunch-related Howl tickets. Now, you can still turn in your Howl tickets to earn a Coyote Pop or to wear a hat for the day or even extra recesses. We'll have a few left over for that. But any lunch-related things, if you want Mr. Long to buy you lunch, if you want a classy lunch, Wednesday is the last day to turn them in. Now, if we start getting a lot of extra recesses where it doesn't look like Mr. Long's going to be able to get to all of them, I'll let you know a cutoff for that as well. But as of right now, we've got room for those, but no more lunch-related things. So no more classy lunches and no more Mr. Long buying you lunches after this Wednesday. That's it. That'll give me about a week and a day to fill them all in, to be able to get through all of those. So remember, for that's for this week. The only thing really going on this week, so the following week, so skip ahead to one week from today. That'll be Monday the 13th. One week from today. Okay, so what do we need to know about that week? Well, field day, where we're all going outside to have a great time. Mr. Harrison is planning a great field day. That's going to be on Tuesday, not tomorrow Tuesday, the next Tuesday, June 14th. And you can see there that the third through fifth graders go first. They'll go out to the field, and then our kindergarten first and secondary, second graders will go second. We have lots of parents that are helping out with different events out on the field. So let's hope for nice weather on Tuesday, June 14th. Then on Wednesday, not this coming Wednesday, but two Wednesdays from now, Mr. Long will be barbecuing once again hamburgers for lunch. I'll be out front barbecuing burgers. You'll get your bun and all the extra good stuff in the cafeteria, and you'll have hamburgers for lunch if you would like to. Now, a couple of days before then, we're going to be taking a little survey from all of you to see how many kids would actually like a burger for lunch on that Wednesday. So we make sure that we buy enough of them to cook up on Wednesday on the grill. So Mr. Long will be barbecuing on Wednesday the 15th, not this Wednesday, the next Wednesday. And then the next Thursday, not this coming Thursday, but Thursday after that, it's the last day of school. We'll say goodbye to our fifth graders for the final time in elementary school. We'll do a giant clap out around the track outside, which we've done in the past. If you've never been a part of that, you're going to really enjoy that. We send our fifth graders off in style. We'll all be out along the track, no matter what grade you're in, and we'll give them some high fives and some claps on their way out of school for the very last time. That's not this week. That's the next week. So we're just trying to get prepared for all of that. So lots going on this week, but even more the following week, especially next Tuesday, next Wednesday, next Thursday. All right. What's also going to be going on throughout June and the summertime? Well, did your family get tagged yet? Look for this sign in your yard. And a lot of you have gotten this now. Take a picture with it, send it to Mr. Long, and then tag another family nearby. Now, if you're not sure where some other Scouters Mountain students live near you, you can always bring the sign back to school 
and Mr. Long will help put it in a yard where he knows Scouters Mountain students live. Let's take a look at all the ones that have come through lately. There's Ben on the left and Claire on the right. Lots coming through. There's Kaysen. Joseph has gotten tagged. The Lees, Chiaka and Remy got tagged at one of their houses. There is Landon. There is Rowan and Marlo. They got tagged out front. All of them. Look at all these. There's Noah on the right. All kinds of stuff going on. Oh, one of the Bartolomies trying to look cool with sunglasses on. Honor got tagged. And there's Abby and Brooklyn and, and Liliana and the McNeil brothers. Lots of tagging going on. So if you haven't got that in your yard yet, I'm sure it's coming. Don't worry. We're trying to get them all around. There are about 10 of them that are going around our neighborhoods. So look for that in your yard. If you don't get one and you'd really like to have one, let Mr. Long know. Have your family call or email. We'll make sure to get one into your yard. But I'm sure it's coming as those are going around neighborhoods throughout the summertime. It's super fun to see all of those. Who's celebrating a birthday this week at Scouters Mountain? Well, Jackson Benitez is celebrating his today. Happy birthday, Jackson, for Miss Warren's kindergarten. So is Cadence from Miss Ma from Mrs. Matthews' third grade. She's celebrating her birthday today. Tomorrow, Micaiah Butler from Mrs. Rhea's room. Erilyn Inyart from... Miss Matthews room also tomorrow. Who else is celebrating a birthday this week? Sahana's is tomorrow. Vinci's is tomorrow. And then later this week, Sam Bennett for Mrs. Grimm, Miss Marsden's fifth grade, along with Mason for Miss Matthews room again. So birthdays happening in Miss Matthews room. Also celebrating this week later on, Isaiah Butler is on June 10th. Olivia Green also on the 10th. Sophia Stepaniak for Mr. Bird's room on the 10th. A lot of birthdays on June 10th. Then on June 11th, Xavier Creech for Mrs. Rhea's third grade. Congratulations and happy birthday to all of them. And finally, Ace Lee Prevatera for Mrs. Warren's kindergarten, also celebrating a birthday this coming weekend. So lots going on for birthdays this week in June, along with Audrey Flake. I almost forgot her on Sunday for Mrs. Webke's room. So she'll celebrate a birthday later this week. So that means who's celebrating a birthday this week in August. We want to get to all of our summer birthdays. So if it were this week, just two months ahead in August, that would be Mac and Adeline and Madden and Henry and Clayton all celebrating a birthday this week in August. There's coming up later this summer, along with Kemaya and Aaliyah and Jacob and Carter all celebrating a birthday this week in August. And we'll get to our weekly challenge. So lots of birthdays this week in August. What's going on this week? Remember last time I asked you, what should Mr. Potter know about Scatters Mountain. What should your new principal know? We had quite a few people send those in. Here's one from Emma in Mrs. Rhea's room. She says Mr. Potter should know the area, the map, and the runes because he needs to know where he's going so he doesn't get, so he, because if he doesn't, then he will get lost in the school. Yes, he would, Emma. So great job making sure that Mr. Potter has a map and knows where everything is. That's a good idea. This one from Atley in Mrs. Rhea's room. Scatters Mountain is really funny. Sometimes that can be bad, though. Don't take the jokes too seriously. I agree, Atley. Don't take them too seriously. This school is more than amazing. There's not a word that I can tell you of how awesome the school is. So be prepared to walk into an amazing school. I agree, Atley. It is certainly an amazing school. I will miss all of you very much, but I'll be back to visit. I'll be back to visit you and Mr. Potter to see how he's doing here. And then finally, from Nova in third grade, Miss Matthews' room, Mr. Potter, here are some things I would like you to keep. Birthday pencils, Mountain Dew awards, classy lunches, howl tickets, and I also want to be able to sit wherever you want in the cafeteria. Thank you. Well, Nova, that would be pretty awesome if we keep all of those things. Birthday pencils, Mountain Dew awards, classy lunches, howl tickets. I'm sure Mr. Potter will be doing lots of those type of things. It'll be fun to see all the neat things that you guys will do next year, even when Mr. Long is not here. So what is our weekly challenge for this week, well, I want to know, since we're into our last full week of school, do you have a special message for a Scouters Mountain staff member? Now, some of you have turned these into me before. I want to show you this one. This one is from Erin in Miss Olson's second grade. She has a special message. Let's make sure I get the volume turned up so you can hear it. Now, remember, we have two staff members who are retiring at the end of this year. Some of you think Mr. Long is retiring. I am not retiring. I'm still working next year, just at a different place. Mrs. Bell and Mrs. Smith, well, they're not working anymore. That's retiring. Let's hear what Aaron had to say to one of them. I can't remember which one this is because she made one for both of them. Let's see. What I'm going to miss most about Miss Smith is her silliness in the library. 
and her acting when she reads books to us. Happy retirement. Yeah, she is going to be Miss. Miss Smith for sure. Now, she also did one for Mrs. Bell. Aaron did one for Mrs. Bell as well. If you'd like to send a video message to Mrs. Bell or Mrs. Smith or somebody else at school, doesn't have to be someone retiring, make sure you send them in to me. You know how to do that. <laughs> Before we move on, some fun scouters photos and videos like we always do each week here. We didn't have a lot of classy lunches because it was a short week. Kalel, Anderson, Weston, Hadley, Sophia with PH and Sophia with an F all had classy lunches. And we had dressed like a book character day not too long ago. There's your staff on the left. And I thought this picture of Desmond for Miss Warren's kindergarten was pretty cool. Look at, he has green eggs and ham on that plate right there. I don't know how they did that. They have like cartoon green eggs and ham as he's holding that. Pretty cool picture of Desmond in kindergarten. Nice job by him. Oh, and also I want to show you this video. Atlee for Mrs. Rhea's room showed me this. She is, of course, a gymnast along with her sister, Check out what she's able to do. Look at these moves that she's practicing. Now she lands in kind of a big uh, bucket of foam, but that's to practice. Let's see what she's doing right here. Check this out. There she goes. Look at Atlee go over the top and in to the foam so she can practice that. Let's see that one more time. Watch Atlee once more. Here, he, here she goes up and over and then boom, back into that. would be pretty fun to have out on the playground if we had one of those. Nice job, Atlee. All right, let's wrap up today's show as we always do with our joke of the week and this one comes from drew bauer in mr bird's fourth grade room drew has a great joke here for you all right drew listen closely take it away do i have the volume turned up yep okay drew let's hear your joke of the week star number one bragged i'm the brightest star in the night sky what did the other star reply hmm, if star number one said i'm the brightest star in the night sky what did star number two say huh what did the other star reply if one star said, hey, I'm the brightest star in the entire sky, what did the other star say? I'm not sure, Drew. You tell us. What did the other star say? Here's Drew to tell us the answer. Oh, you can't be serious. Oh, you can't be serious. Now, for those of you that don't know, Drew just said, oh, you can't be serious. What's serious? Well, serious is actually the name of the brightest star in the entire night sky there it is right there so when you say you can't be serious that means you'd have to be the brightest star in the sky some of you probably knew that some of you maybe didn't if you have a joke of the week there's only one more week to send them in send them in to mr long you know where to get them in right there at long c at nclac.k12.or.us a lot of you are learning that c stands for cool long c at nclac.k12.or us always like getting you okay that wraps up another great week ahead hopefully you have a great final full week of school it is june 6th through june 10th if you're going to stick around for the pledge of allegiance we have a classroom who was nice enough to record those for us if not you can log off right here and i'll see you around the school and you can do your pledge of allegiance however you would like to but if you're sticking around those are coming up in three two and one. All right. Leading the Pledge of Allegiance this week is Mr. Burr's fourth grade class. Let's get all set up here. I'm going to get all set up. So I'm ready to do that because Mr. Burr's class comes pretty quickly and tells you to please stand. Here we go right here. Please stand. Okay. I'm going to give you a few minutes to stand up. Well, not a few minutes, but I'll give you a few seconds to stand up. Listen closely for Mr. Burr's fourth graders to lead you through this. And here we go. Ready? Again. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and justice Super job by Mr. Burr's class, as always. I can always count on them. Great job. Now you've done your Pledge of Allegiance. Have a great week ahead as we move along. <laughs> Our last full week in June, it is June 6th today, all the way through the 10th this week. Have a wonderful week ahead. I'll see you on the playground. I'll see you in the cafeteria and throughout the hallways.